guys? Um, let's start with Brad's life. Uh, Brad's broke. <laughs> we all know that. No, Brad's financially broke. He's trying to figure out how he's going to make it through this next year. Particularly paying the camera guy, because the last thing he wants to do is not pay his guys. Um, we had a great week. We took the old rat rod out. You guys all like rat rod stuff. It seems to show real well on the channel. Everybody likes the burnouts and this car. Um, this car is for sale. Hey, internet, anybody want to buy this hat, this car? 30K takes this car home today. Um, guys, watch the video. It went 650 first time out, 60 the second time out. And it probably could have got a lot faster. 650 for everybody there was on less than 500 horsepower. This car was running at seven pounds of boost and all the timing was taken out. And the reason why I did that is because I'm scared of the car. The time before we took the car out, I spun it around. We may be able to find a video of that, but it was pretty scary. So going out there this time, I just wanted to make an A to B pass. I just wanted to build the confidence in myself to be able to make it. And we did it. Now, turning it up led into a problem. I didn't bring my laptop. The software in this Holly is like the original software. It's like dinosaur software. It's like 3.0 or 2.0, and now we're at like 6.5. So the guys that did have laptops, thank you, Manuel, and all those guys out there, when they plugged it in, they're like, man, your software is so old, we can't communicate. So I was unable to add any timing or do any changes. So what did the Hoonigan and me do? Pulled the boost line. So, what did we do? We ran wide open boost for the second round and it went from 650 to a 60. Now, is that the right thing to do, you guys? No, it's not, it's not. But I did know that there was a bunch of timing taken out because this car normally runs on nitrous and it runs on nitrous with a boost controller. I had removed the boost controller and I had removed the nitrous in order to sell the car hopefully being safe enough for somebody to drive it. Now you can put the nitrous and you can put the boost control back on and you can make a whole bunch more power and you can probably drive it a whole bunch faster. I was pretty content with where we were at. So we're gonna drop these videos, let you guys see the 650 pass and the 60 pass. <laughs> like next Thursday night we're gonna take this car back out and there's gonna be a new driver so stay tuned for that video of this car being driven by somebody other than me now for all you mini truck guys we got the mini truck fired up so we're gonna walk out front and we're gonna show you guys where we're at with the mini truck come on and back to the mini truck my favorite so since you guys seen it last we put a Brad's paint job on it that's probably worse than Earl Shy, but at least it's white and it's all one color. Um, we do have to detail it. I literally rolled it out, ripped the plastic off, and went to tuning. So Gabe at SP in Havasu, he's been online with us now twice getting tuning. Uh, there's your poor girlfriend. That's my daughter. Jordan and them have a little son stuff. Anyways, uh, all this morning we spent time tuning this thing. And as you guys know, tuning sucks. So we started it up and right off the bat, I had an injector that was doing something stupid. Injectors don't like to sit, you guys. Every time you do a tune, you should probably have your injectors clean. Unfortunately and unfortunately enough, by unplugging it and plugging it back in, we got the injector to come back on and we got through that headache. Next headache we have and we're still having right now is all of this electronics have been replaced. Even all the wire loom has been replaced. The problem is the ignition switch. The ignition switch is so old and so dirty that the 12 volts that's getting sent through to the computer is low. It's actually only seeing like 11.4 to like 11.9 voltage. So when you turn the key on, the computer says, oh, it's only 11 voltage, it's low voltage and it's not happy. We were able to work through that and get to where it's at right now 
But what I'm gonna have to do is run a direct wire from the battery to a switch and from a switch to the computer so that it's getting a clean 12 volts. Clean 12 volts is super important with all your ECUs. All these ECUs want to have clean voltage. And that was one of the biggest issues we were running into in the tuning that we were doing today. Now, another thing that happened when we were sitting is the right rear wheel cylinder blue. If you look underneath the truck, you can show it. There's just fluid everywhere. So every time we would make a four pound pass and a five pound pass and an eight pound pass, I was losing brakes and I was like, okay, we gotta stop until we can fix the wheel cylinder. So we had to pull off on that. Third reason is, and I'll show you this. After about 30, 40 miles an hour, it gets kind of windy in there. We had pulled the window because the seal was bad on both sides and we had drips coming down. So now I can go get my new window put in and we can go drive it on the thing and tune it even faster. But I'm not gonna disappoint you guys because we are gonna drive it. It does fire up, it does run, and there's a secret, secret, secret. this switch you guys oh taking her to prom you touch her i'll beat you, beat your butt anyways that's good huh so now we have no brakes no front windshield and i'm taking a kid for a ride perfect huh that's called hooning okay now that Ooh, and almost hit my daughter's car <laughs> See that you guys? I'm number one in her life. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Slow as fuck. <laughs> so Gabe has all the timing taken out because he knows I'm a jack and I'm gonna drive it. So he left no timing in the motor. Smart guy. Let's see what it sounds like.